Good day, good day, guys and girls. It's your boy Isa Hooten, and welcome to Terraria Mechanics. Hey, you. Yes. Yeah, you. Today, today, you and me are delving even deeper into this amazing game we call Terraria. So deep, in fact, it was previously not thought possible. Today, for the sake of science. It's like magic, but with electricity. Science! We burrow ourselves into the very flesh and guts of this game to see exactly what makes it tick. That's right, guys and girls, I am starting a brand new series called Terraria Mechanics. Wow, look at that. Cool title, just amazing stuff. This series will be taking a look at the innate properties of Terraria, the very fabric that holds it together, the very stage that you, me, and the golem <laughs> all perform our epic tale upon together. This series will hopefully address some of the issues that Terraria or the Terraria Wiki aren't so specific about, and perhaps give you a better understanding of just how this game works to make you a better Terrarian overall. For today, I have chosen a property that applies to almost all usable items in the game, and that is, well, you guessed it because you read the title, Use Time. Now, I know what you're thinking, well, Izuden, isn't that kind of obvious? That's the time it takes to use something. This video is kind of a scam. Well, yes, you are correct, loyal viewer, although slightly harsh. Use time is indeed the time that must pass after having used any weapon, item, tool, consumable, or usable item in the game until it or another item can be used again. Terraria itself isn't very specific in telling you exactly how long this is for each item, rather just vague terms like slow or fast or very fast. However, if you've ever been to the Terraria Wiki, you can see that the use time is in fact measured in numbers with no units. <laughs> so what exactly are these numbers? Just what the heck does 4 or 14 or 40 use time even mean? It's okay, it's okay, you can calm down. Jeez. I mean, it's, I mean, it's not that exciting. Use time, when you break it down, is measured in game ticks. Now, a game tick is essentially a single frame of your current play. It represents one instance of data that tells the game what to display, what's currently affecting all the characters and mobs present, and the use time of any items being used, as well as a bunch of different stuff that we will get into later in this series. So, in the context of use time, this essentially means that one frame is one use time. So if a weapon has a use time of 4, it will take 4 frames until you can use that item again. The use time for pretty much all weapons and items in Terraria are below 60, meaning if you're playing the game at 60 frames per second, they all take just slightly less than a second until they can be used again. Whilst all under about a second, however, the difference between an insanely fast use time and a fast use time is very noticeable. For example, between the chain gun with a use time of 4, it can be fired 15 times per second. And this is essentially a weapon's fire rate, which is found by taking the overall time, which is 1 second, and dividing it by use time of that weapon. The Phoenix Blaster still has a very low use time of 11, but can only fire about 5.5 bullets per second which is a 10 bullet per second difference between the two guns with only 7 use time difference. Weapons with low use times often don't do large amounts of damage, and weapons with large use times are usually the big damage dealers. I mean, that's fair, right? <laughs> I mean, could you imagine having a hugely powerful weapon with barely any use time? That would just be crazy and, and game-breaking. Oh, wait. Potions have a special distinct cooldown period and weapons like flails or boomerangs have to be returned before they can be fired again. However, they still have internal use time before they can be used in succession, like when you throw them against a wall or they retract when they hit an enemy, and so they are still limited in their fire rate. Some notable weapons in terms of use time one of them is definitely the chain gun with a 4 use time, so you can fire this thing 15 times per second. I know I used this in the example before, but holy crap, that is so fast. Amazingly fast, and you're just capable of doing so much DPS. I love the chain gun, what can I say? And the slowest weapon that I could find anyway was the Staff of Earth, and that has about a 40 use time. 
so that means it's capable of firing only one boulder within one second. Of course, use time can be improved with lots of armors, accessories and modifiers to where a slow weapon can fire at a quicker rate, making it a lot more deadly than before. Well, guys and girls, there you have it. Use time. Hopefully this video wasn't a waste of your time and added a little bit of meaning to those vague speeds and random numbers that you see underneath a weapon's stats. And maybe it'll help you in choosing what weapon you want to use in particular situations because of its manner of damage output. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed the start of this new series. Do let me know what you guys think and of course any other suggestions of what you would like explained. Stay tuned for more, I'll catch you in the next one. This is the end of the video.